Well, I grew up in, um, in a suburb of Chicago, and we started attending a UCC church when I was in about, I think, second grade. And um, I sort of wear it as a badge of honor that uh, I got kicked out of Sunday school for asking too many questions. <laughs> Um, I was trying to reconcile the creation story and dinosaurs. I was in the children's choir, and I remember a time when our senior minister at the time was speaking to the choir. Um, I think maybe we were preparing for a service or something, and he said, you know, you don't have to believe in God to go here, and that's okay. We're he Everybody here is on a journey, and we're here to be a community to support people in their journey. And it absolutely clicked for me. I was so supported as I went through, you know, um, middle school, high school, um, to be asking the hard questions and going on my journey. And I was surrounded by people who were, you know, teaching me different things along the way. My experience was probably pretty unique um, growing up, but um, how lucky I was to have that. And then how lucky I was to have found a place here where I felt like I could continue that journey. Now my children can be part of that journey. Uh, my husband and I taught the junior high for a number of years and senior high for a year, and we were supporting youth on their journey here. And one of the very first Sundays that I came, um, Plymouth was releasing the open and affirming statement um, as part of you know the Sunday publication. And um, Jeff Sarton spoke to it and gave a sermon related to it. And uh, the entire congregation stood up at the end of a sermon and, and clapped. It felt absolutely fitting and perfect for me because it just felt like this is where I want to be. I want to be a part of this place. Um, and I also pretty early on started getting involved in the Caring for Creation working group. At the time, it was fairly new, um, focused on you know, some environmental um, initiatives and environmental justice. Um, and it felt like you know, something that I was passionate about married with you know, the kind of idea of faith in action. There are so many ways that we create community and sort of stand for who we are. It may vary a little bit, you know, person to person, certainly, but but generally speaking, I think you can kind of boil it down, right? We're here to be in community with one another, to be loving, to go on a journey, you know, perhaps individually, sometimes together. Um, we're here to learn. We're here to be a part of the wider community in a positive way. I think one of the biggest shifts that I've seen is a feeling of... Um, sort of excitement and commitment to the possibilities and a, and a, a certain level of cohesion between um, leadership, different parts of the leadership, um, clergy, really coming together for amazing, to, do, to be able to do amazing things and sort of a level of you know, energy and excitement and like orientation towards the future. Um, really, we've been dealing with a lot of really tough stuff, um, but the care and um, commitment, I feel like, that everyone has shown um, has been pretty amazing. There hadn't really, I feel like, been a culture of like, we're here all in this together, moving in the same direction. And I do think now, for a while, we have been all here together, moving in the same direction. We disagree with each other, that's okay. We'll have those conversations um, and we'll, ultimately, you know, kind of um, get to a, a good spot and a good conclusion and be able to truly move forward. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been really, it's been a joy. It's been, it's been really cool. The data shows that people of my generation and younger are not necessarily interested in formalized religion. Um, so we talk about, well, what, what then is, like, what would compel somebody to kind of engage in a faith community. And we, one of the conversations that we had, we were talking about how the community kind of is the reason because any one of us can pick up our smartphone and, you know, get a meditation and sit and have some spiritual practice relatively easily. But the community where we come together we're supporting each other in our journey. We are challenging one another. We're asking some of those questions and saying, yeah, those are really tough questions and it looks like it'll be really difficult, but let's all work on these things as individuals, as a community, um, and hold each other accountable. 
you know, and hold our, hold our, hold our institution accountable, hold our organization accountable. We have, we do have a, quite a bit of power. And so if we're not using, if we're not accountable to how we use our power, you know, are we really living into what we say we want to live into?